In a previous video, I did an overview of some fundamental Git commands, commit, push, pull, and we also talked about what origins are. In this video, I'm going to act out a lot of these, but using a command line interface. These commands that I'm going to use will work equally well in a variety of programming languages and in a variety of platforms and IDEs and the like. So don't worry too much about the syntax that I'm using when I'm making changes or the project that I'm using, which happens to be an Android Studio project, because with the command line, these skills are very portable. So we're going to take a look at things like a git commit and how we commit to our local version control system. We're going to see how we can push to a remote version control system. Updates we're not going to worry about in this video, so pull an update we'll actually do when we take a look at the branching video. Uh, but we will also take a look at how to create a separate remote and how to push all of our changes to that separate remote. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I have the project. I'm going to be making a few changes to this file called Example Instrumented Test KT. Now, this is just an editor. Just think of it as an editor. But a couple of neat things that I can do here. First of all, I can go to Open in Terminal, which opens a command line terminal for me. All the commands I'm about to do, we could do right here in this local terminal, which is nice. But I did also say I wanted to be agnostic of any IDE or any programming language. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Show and Explorer. That brings up a Windows Explorer instance. And then I can use a little trick here where I just go to the address line and type in CMD. And that will open a command tr prompt directly to this location. So let's go back to our uh, example unit test. And once again, don't be too concerned about syntax or anything. Just note that I'm making a change. That's what we're worried about. So we're going to say fun, add two and three equals five, something like that. I'll go ahead and put a test in here. Once again, I'm going to save. Now, I want to show you what our GitHub repository looks like at this moment. Just take a look at the last commit. It's add a new unit test for addition. So this is what GitHub looks like up to this point. Now, I did promise that this video would be agnostic to any IDE or programming language, so I'm going to go ahead and go out to normal old command line Git. Uh, for this, I just go to the Explorer location uh, for this project, and I could have opened that up with normal Windows Explorer, but you see that it takes me here to the project root. Now, one little trick in Windows, I can type CMD, and that will open up a command line for me right to that directory where I am in Windows Explorer. So first I'm going to say git commit, and then dash m will let me add a message. Double quote will say assert that two plus three are five, or is equal to five. Close double quote, and then a period. Period means add all changed files in this directory, and note that I'm up at my project root. So I do the git commit, and it says we're looking pretty good. Now I refresh GitHub, and notice that our new commit is not yet in GitHub. We've only committed to our local repository. In other words, if I go back to our animation, we see we're at the stage where we've made changes and we've committed them to our local version control system. The next thing that we want to do is we want to push these up to our GitHub. And by the way, I, have, I had added GitHub to this project in a previous video, so that's why you don't see me actually doing the, uh, the add part. That's, you see that in another video. So back to our command line now, we're going to say git push dash u origin, where origin is a nickname for this remote repository, which we call GitHub, and then master, where master is the branch that we wish to push. Hit enter, put in my credentials, and it gives us a message, and let's go back and see if I refresh on GitHub, do we have our new changes, and sure enough we do. Assert that two plus three is equal to five, and we see that this example unit test.kt, sure enough, that unit test that we added, add 213 equals 5, was added and pushed. So we've seen these changes now go up to our remote version control system. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the poll we'll take a look at in a separate video. But what we want to do now is we want to see how we can make a separate, different remote version control system and give it a unique nickname. This one we're going to call My Projects and push all of our commit history up to that separate, separate repository. Now this is cPanel, and it happens to be a cPanel instance that I'm using for plant places, and it has a built-in Git repository, just like so, uh, so I can create a new remote. So I'm going to choose Create. Uh, we're not going to clone a repository, although we could. 
and we're going to call this one my plant diary Q. Uh, same name that we have in GitHub doesn't have to be the same, but it can be. Remember, this is a Git instance, but totally separate from GitHub, and it is hosted remotely. It is hosted essentially on the cloud. So very similar to GitHub, but not the same. And the point here is I can have the same project in two different places. So I choose Create Repository, and it gives me this line to add this remote. Now, trick with this is that it says we, we have to look closely. Git remote, add origin, and then the hyperlink or the URI to this repository. Well, that word origin is important because that is the nickname that we're giving to this repository, and origin tends to be the default nickname, but we can only use a nickname one time. So we're going to change this to my project. Let's have a go at it. Back to my command line, and I'm going to head and go ahead and paste, but instead of add origin, we're going to change this to my project, just like so. And okay, no problem. Now, remember our command that we had earlier, git push dash u origin master? Let's try something new. Git push dash u. Now let's say my project master. So what we're saying now is take the master branch, push it to the my project repository. First, let's do a before and after of what that repository looks like. So I go to list repositories and I see my plant diary queue. I choose history, and we see there's essentially nothing here. Now let's go back and let's go ahead and run this push line that we have. And prompts for password gives us a confirmation message. We go back and we refresh the history and take a look at this. Sure enough, we have all of the commits right here in this separate Git instance, the separate cloud-based Git instance that we have right over here and our plant diary queue, assert that two plus three is five, add, uni add new unit test for addition, so on and so forth. So this step has been git push my project's master, and now you see we have those commits up there. Now, when we do a push, we have to specify which remote we want, origin or my projects, and we also have to specify which branch we want. This was essentially a demonstration, so uh, I'm going to keep using origin going forward, but nonetheless, you see now we have that option. I hope this video has been helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.